I'm Bruno Massel. I'm here at Fabco Air in Gainesville, Florida. You know, Fabco Air was founded in 1958, and today their 61,000 foot facility houses manufacturing, engineering, and assembly. It's also home to more than 80 employees with an average time of service of 24 years. You know, about 50% of Fabco's business is special products designed to fit their customers' needs. We've got nine seats of SolidWorks to help in the design of products and provide customers with 3D drawings in any format they desire. You know, while Fabco has a large, diverse product line, they pride themselves on being the originator of the pancake cylinder. Many people have tried to copy the pancake, but the fact remains the same. Fabco is the leader in compact cylinders. They call it a pancake cylinder because of the low profile. You know, pancake offers the most stroke and rod support in the smallest overall height package, and that's what you're getting right here. You know, bores start at half inch and go all the way up to four inches. Now, they've also made special bores to six and strokes up to four inches. And to get a more in-depth look at the pancake cylinder, I've got the vice president of Fabco here, Scott Lamar. So, Scott, I need to ask you, what makes the pancake superior to other cylinders in its category? Well, we start out with solid bar stock. And that lets us machine the bores at the same time so you have concentricity of the bores. We face the mounting surfaces so they're perpendicular to the bore. We have a composite bearing and we have a 303 hard chrome stainless shaft. Those two work together and they actually, the composite bearing actually polishes the shaft. Okay. So you don't get as much wear on your O-ring. So it's more shaft life. It is. It's more seal life also. And we also use a Teflon impregnated grease, it's Magna Lube G. We crosshatch hone the bore and the microscopic Teflon particles embed themselves in there and that you're running Teflon against Teflon. Okay. So you're talking about mounting options. There's numerous for this, am I correct? That's right. We have threaded nose mount. We have a clevis. We have an eye mount. We even have a trunnion mount. Explain to me the trunnion mount because that's kind of a neat feature you were showing me earlier. The trunnion mount actually lets you pivot where the rod exits the cylinder. So you have a lot better geometry there. If you have a long stroke clevis cylinder, it could go into a bind where the, you're mounting on the back of the cylinder, the piston's exiting up here, and then it'll actually droop. And this, this negates that. So the shaft won't wear out, it won't bend over time, it'll swivel and it compensate for any travel. Better geometry. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Now talk about harsh environments, that's something that Fabco has also factored into the design of, the, of these cylinders. Well, we have electros nickel plating. We can do uh, 303, 304, 316 stainless. Scott, give us some insight to some special applications that guys are using, you know, some motorcycle stuff, where they're using these pancake cylinders. You might recognize this. This would be an aftermarket motorcycle shock, and it's a, a feed bleed system that lets you ra raise and lower on the fly three inches on your motorcycle. That's so really cool. A lot, of, a lot of your custom bikes have these on them. Uh, exhaust brakes. Uh, this is for the airline industry, actually. Um, you know, we have semiconductor, medical, Okay, so pretty much you can run the gamut as to where the applications go for, for the different pancakes. Exactly, cylinders. and different environments. Nice, nice. So essentially, Scott, if you can dream it up, Fabco can make a cylinder for your application. We try real hard. <laughs> Thanks for all the info, Scott. Thank you. You know, for more info on Fabco Air and their pancake cylinders, or to find Fabco Air's full line of stocking distributors, you can visit their website, www.fabco-air.com, for a complete listing.